Really quick tip on how to make a email signature that doesn't send a logo as an attachment because that definitely sucks. What we're gonna do is come into Apple Mail Preferences and then we are going to make our own. So we'll just call this THC sig. All right, so right now it does not matter at all what it says and I want this to be at this email, so boom. You can now close it, make sure it's actually fully closed. And now we gotta make the logo or the image that is gonna be in your email signature. So for that, I'm gonna pop over to Photoshop. I'm gonna press create new and what I have noticed works is anywhere from uh, about 50 by 50 uh, to about 100. 100 is kind of on the bigger side, but um, yeah, you kind of experiment and you'll see what works and make sure the resolution is set to 72. So today we're gonna do, I think 65. There it is. I'm gonna bring my logo that I have previously into this. Boom. And for mine, I'm gonna save it as a PNG because I want it to kind of blend in with whatever background it's on. So, just gonna make sure that's center real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save that as a PNG because that'll keep the background transparent. Name it Creative Herd, uh, logo 65 by 65. Save that, smallest size. All right, so we're done with Photoshop and we have our placeholder. So the next thing we gotta do is get this guy online because that's what separates uh, the Apple Mail from sending an attachment every time is it just references the HTML code. In theory, you can use pretty much any image hosting platform. I actually have a website which is where I uploaded my image to and it's actually on WordPress, but the thing that you're looking for is a URL that goes directly to that image. So if I copy and paste this URL real quick, it'll literally just go nowhere, but there's my image right here. So try to find something that hosts your image online because that is all you need. The next step that I did was I found a HTML uh, email signature template and there's a lot of great ones, but I would definitely recommend uh, free email signature .com. So you can put all your info, the creative herd. This is what I've come up with so far. And yeah, a great website, legal, and then branding. This is where you can do this all by hand, but this website makes it super easy stuck my URL in there and I get a click through so you can just click right through opens a brand new website looks good it looks a little small I guess but you know that's where trial and error now you go back and make it a little bigger but I will show you you can have a bunch of different fonts if you want just regular um, yeah I think I might leave it like that actually and you know colors uh, font scale and yeah, a bunch of different styles, which is why I use this website. You can play around and see which one that you like best, but we're almost done. So this is what it'll look like, the end product. The great thing about this website is if you aren't using Apple Mail, you can find exactly what you're looking for, Gmail, um, Outlook, even on your iPhone, so anywhere you can make this happen. So I just need this right now. So we're gonna copy that. And the next thing that we're going to do is find the placeholder that you made earlier. Um, so we're gonna hit library, I just held option there to, to get that library up. And then we're gonna go into mail. Just hit this real quick. Um, so yeah, this is the path into mail and V6 or whatever number you have. It's just the operating system updates every now and then and signatures. So we're looking right now for the most current time. So what was made today? 
this guy. You're looking for dot mail signature and this is the most current. So open this with text edit. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is come up here into preferences, open and save, and make sure this is selected. Display HTML files as HTML code. Boom. So this is what we created in Apple Mail and this is what's just a placeholder so we can delete all this starting at the body. And then we paste in what we just copied here goes in here. Then the final step is to go over here and lock this. If you don't do this, um, Apple Mail will overwrite uh, this file as soon as you open it. So lock that, it's all good. All right, so let's try a little test. Here's the email where it was saved. Throw that email signature in. Looks pretty good, let's see how it sends. Send this just over to my personal. Boom, send that off. And let's see what it looks like. No attachments. There we go. I think I might actually edit the text, but to do that, all you have to do is go back into that mail signature file um, that we found in the library and unlock it first, um, or it'll, it'll ask you as soon as you try to edit it but make sure you lock it after and that'll update it here. And yeah, that's it. I hope that makes your life a little bit easier and a little bit less frustrating because I know I didn't enjoy email signatures that were sent as an attachment. All the best and see you in the next video.